one of the things that you write about in Walking Back Home is the way in which you have embraced certain songs more over the years. Mm. Real Gone Kid is a case in point, isn't it? Yeah, you it's nice. my favourite song. <laughs> yeah, you celebrate it, especially on stage now. And you didn't always do that. No, and because you're stupid, you know. <laughs> because, and there's no other reason to, to, to explanation for it, because you just get yourself in knots and twists when you're younger. And I wasn't even that young. It's just stupid, you know. Um, and I think it's really important to understand that have respect for people that come to, to shows mm. and people want these moments they want these moments that are com you know communal they want moments that they can celebrate and celebrate with them and it, it took me a long time to recognize the importance of that joy that mm. communal joy you know I think that accepting that sense of, of people having a great time and allowing it to happen and not judging them for it uh, but being part of it um, excite, you know, that, that I find that exciting now, and I, I actually look forward to the real going. I wish I could play it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing stopping you. I know that's true. <laughs> a bit like so much of what you do, especially live now, short stories volume two explores older songs and mm. new work. We have to speak about the fact that in the past ten years, which is really no time, Deacon Blue have released four albums. Most recently, 2020s. City of Love, which mm. is hugely prolific. You're so forward looking as well as reflecting on your life and your work and your stories and your memoir. The band keeps moving forward. I think that if, if we came to a point, and again, I talk about this in, a little bit in the book, is we came to a point where we, we either were going to be a real band or we were going to stop. And mm. to be a real band, you have to be creative. Um, and I think being creative means putting out new work. And it doesn't matter sometimes to an audience whether um, they know all the new songs. Um, what I think the perception is that you are a creative outfit, outfit and you're not just going back mm -hmm. and rehashing things. And it's hard to, I think only musicians will maybe understand that, but if you've only got an old body of work to do, and it, it feels very limiting. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you've got a whole lot of new stuff to do, it, it, it actually brings to life the older mm -hmm. material. It's a, it's a weird... Um, uh, sort of algorithm or something like that about about putting a, a live show together. And I have to say, and you could probably ask anyone in, in Deacon Blue this question, but I think I, I would say now has been about the best time to ever be in the band. Mm -hmm. The last few years, it's been a real joy. It's been it's been great. We're, we're very close, uh, and we're we're kind of looking forward to when we're we're back together and doing stuff again. It's it, it's, it's great.